What is good all my trader and investor homies out there? It's your boy Kevin from Touchdown Trades, your trading BFF, your stock market bestie. Today it's time for a workhorse stock update. We get to talk about one of my favorite stocks in the entire market today because I'm going to be giving you my four top reasons that I believe workhorse stock is headed to $50 a share in the near future. We are experiencing a changing of the guard as EV manufacturers are becoming the new trend and old school auto manufacturers are left in the dust. The movement has left the traditional auto manufacturers scrambling to catch up with these new school EV companies. Last week we saw GM strike a deal with the company that's currently accused of fraud. And they stood by that company after allegation and allegation of fraud continued to come out. Why? Because they need to catch up with the EV wave. Regardless of whether you are a Tesla bull or you hate the company, it is obvious that they have set the stage for the future in the automotive industry. The movement has investors and traders looking around the stock market, looking for the next EV company to make a move similar to the one Tesla has made over the last couple of years. I personally believe that Workhorse is this company. There are four specific reasons that I believe Workhorse stock has the potential to make a 100% move and be trading at $50 a share or more by the end of the year. So stay tuned and let's talk about it. It's not a game, it's a red what is good my trader homies and investors? It's one of my favorite days of the week because we get to talk about workhorse stock and I'm just absolutely in love with this company. Let's take a quick look at the chart and then we're gonna be talking about my top four reasons that I think workhorse stock is about to make an explosive 100% move to the upside and could possibly be trading over $50 a share in the very near future. All right, so let's take a look at this chart. I got the one year, one day chart pulled up and we can see that this thing is just pretty, it's just a very beautiful chart. We have been holding this $14.50 level and this, just this past couple weeks, we broke out of that descending trend line and now we're heading higher and retesting these all-time highs. We broke over the all-time highs and this chart is just looking really clean. All right, so now let's get into my top four reasons that I believe Workhorse stock is about to make a 100% move. Reason number one is that Workhorse is heavily, heavily shorted. 30% of Workhorse's float is currently sold short. Why is that important? Because it creates what is called a short squeeze. When the stock keeps going up and it's heavily shorted, good news keeps coming out about the company, it creates a short squeeze. Now let's take a look at the chart and I'll t explain more about this short squeeze and what this could result in. So we can see here that Workhorse has been really strong over the last, I don't know, four or five months, right? And people are naturally gonna be negative and say, this move is overdone, this company is overvalued because it's up from $2 a share just a few months ago and now it's trading at $15 a share. So people just looking from the outside, looking at the stock chart, make assumptions without even knowing anything about the company and they open short positions, basically betting on a workhorse to go down. So 30% of workhorse's shares of the float are currently sold short by short sellers. So let's look at a chart and we can kind of decipher where we think those short sellers probably got short. I would guess that initially they started getting short in this like nine, ten dollar area, and then it started going higher, and then the next pullback they started to get short maybe at the eighteen dollar area, and this next pullback they thought it was going to break the fourteen dollar level, so the fifteen dollar area they got short, and it just never broke down. So they're caught short, they're stuck, and when this thing starts going higher, higher, higher the brokers start to say, wait a second, no, 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 you're down too much money, we have too much at risk, we're buying you in. Short sellers start to cut their loss as brokers start to buy the short sellers in and cover their positions, that creates what is called a short squeeze and basically all it is is the short sellers covering their, getting out of their position, taking their loss and it just creates massive amounts of buying. 
So not only do you have the investors coming into Workhorse buying because they believe in the company, but you also have the idiot short sellers who got short way too early down here, down here, down here on the way up. They're also buying because they want to get out of their position. It just creates an influx of buying and it causes the stock price to skyrocket. As we broke out of this trend line, this descending triangle, you know short sellers are stuck. They're just looking at this workhorse and they are probably going to have to cut their losses if it doesn't if something doesn't change here in the near future. So as short sellers who are short way down here start to buy, this could just propel this workhorse stock to the moon and we could look, be looking at a huge move over the next couple months or so. On the left side of the screen, I have workhorses chart pulled up, a daily chart. On the right side of the screen, I have Invax's chart, Nanovax pulled up. And I know they're not in the same sector, they're in completely different sectors, but I wanna show you what a short squeeze looks like and the two charts are strikingly similar. Okay, so on the right side, we have this Nanovax chart pulled up, Invax, and back here, we started the short squeeze on this Invax as it broke up from like less than $10 a share, and then a couple weeks later, it's trading at like 30. And people were saying, wait, this is happening too fast. There's no way this company has a chance to get the vaccine done, and maybe they were right. In the long run, those short sellers may be right on this Invax, but it doesn't matter. They were way too early, and the short sellers are way too early on this workhorse, and they got stuck. It never broke through, and look at the striking similarity. You got that level right there acting as support, and it tried it several times, and it never broke through. Look at the NVAX chart. You have the striking similarity. It broke over the descending triangle, and then it went up like another three, four hundred percent. So I think we could have a very similar thing happen to this workhorse stock in the next few months. The second reason is just because I think Workhorse has a sound and fundamental business plan and they have an idea of the niche they wanna be in. They didn't just say, we're gonna start an EV company. They narrowed it down. They got into a niche that they thought they could take over and conquer this last mile delivery niche and I think they are gonna conquer it. The only other company you really see getting into the EV space and last mile delivery is Amazon, right? And Amazon is only worried about delivering their own products that are ordered off their own website. You have tons of other, of other delivery services that are gonna need new trucks, that are gonna need EV last mile delivery trucks, and they're gonna be going to a company like Workhorse. You don't see any other company getting into this space. It's basically a desert island. That Workhorse is the only oasis on the desert island. You're gonna have all these companies that need last mile delivery trucks as soon as legislation starts to get passed that a certain amount of your fleet has to be electric and then it's gonna be 10 years, 15 years from now, all your fleet's gonna need to be electric and Workhorse is gonna take over that industry. And that's not even talking about the horsefly technology that they're working on. The future is absolutely bright for this workhorse and they are in a league of their own because there's not really any other company trying to do what, what, what Workhorse is doing. The third and the fourth reason are gonna kinda tie into each other and they're just gonna be really one reason, but it's really, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying, but the third and the fourth reason are reason number three is the election is upcoming, which ties into the fourth reason, which is the USPS contract and I believe Workhorse is going to get the USPS contract because of reason number three. Reason number three is the election and that the election is extremely close in the state of Ohio. And why the heck does that matter for a stock like Workhorse? Because Workhorse is located in Ohio. We also have the USPS contract, which is supposed to be announced within the next four or five months or so. So a company located in Ohio where the election is supposed to be extremely close in that state, we have right now, I'm on the Real, Real Clear Politics website, and we have Biden up by 2.4 points, which is within the margin of error. So we know Trump is thinking, how can he get an edge in Ohio? Ohio is a huge battleground state, and if Trump wins it, or Biden wins it, it swings the election that way. 
You have Ohio, you have Florida, you have North Carolina, you have Michigan, Wisconsin, but Ohio is a huge win for either candidate. And if Trump comes out and says, I'm giving this USPS contract, it's a huge contract, it's a huge, beautiful, tremendous, outstanding, gorgeous, biggest contract ever done, right? Biggest contract ever done. And I'm giving this to a company based in Ohio because I love you guys in Ohio and this company's got a great future they got a beautiful future and i'm giving it to them then that would probably give him a bump in the polls a bump at election time and he's definitely giving it to a company based in the u.s based on my opinion at least so i think workhorse is going to get the usps contract i really do believe that and i think the upcoming election is going to help them get the contract. So those are my four reasons why I think Workhorse could make a huge move in the near future and go to the moon. And not to mention, this is one of the most beautiful stock charts that I've seen in a very long time. Let's just run it back real quick and take a look at the chart. So you have the run up and you have the initial pullback, which creates a level support at the $14 area. And we have not cracked that level of support. So as long as we maintain above $14, this thing is still primed and ready to take off. And we just broke over this trend line, and I think we have a big steady climb ahead of us towards the $40, $50, maybe even $60 level. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. These videos do take me a quite a while to make. I love making them, but I put a lot of time into them. And all I ask from you guys in return is to give the like button, the old touchdown trades, snake eye jab in the eyes. And if you're not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing and hit the notifi notification bell as well. I will catch you guys in the next video. I love all of y'all. Peace. Drop.